Hi friends, I am back with our art lesson for today. So in our take home folders, we have a toddler art activity that looks like this. So I'm gonna read the directions to you. It says, provide your toddler with a plain sheet of white paper, a feather, there should be feathers in your take home kits and they were from our family night last week. So you should still have feathers at home. If you don't, to reach out to Molly or Amy and we can get those packed away for you guys in your, um, when you do food pickup and supply pickup this week. And you need paint. So we're gonna encourage the kids to dip the feathers in the paint and use it as a brush on their paper and we're going to explore the sense of touch because remember five senses this week. So we're going to work on touch and feel. We're going to talk about the feather, what it feels like, and we're going to create a painting, okay? So I have my paper. I'm going to pick a feather. So mine is like a bluish green. What kind of feather do you guys have? Maybe you picked yellow, purple. I see some red in there. So you might have a different color feather. So for our sense of touch, let's talk about the feather. Does it feel soft? I think it feels really soft, but the stem is a little prickly, huh? That one's a little harder, but the feathers are so soft. Can you rub it on your face? What's it feel like on your face? kind of tickles a little bit, huh? So we're going to use these feathers as a paintbrush. So I'm going to flip my camera down so you can see my art project. So I have my paper, my feather, and my paint. And I'm just going to use this plate and pour a little bit of paint out so I can use it even more easily. How about I pick, I'll do three colors. So I'm gonna put orange first. Just a little dab out on my plate. Make sure you have your mommies and daddies to help you. I'm gonna do yellow. And I'm gonna pick purple. Now you guys can pick any color. Oops. That might be a little too much purple. See, we have to be so careful. That's okay. So you guys can pick any color you want. There's reds, there's black, there's white, there's blue, any color you want. You can pick one color or you can pick three like I did. You could pick two. Okay. So we're going to take our feather and I'm going to dip it in my paint. See how that's on there? I'm just going to spread it across my paper. Look at that design. See, each of the feathers are different, so I bet everyone's picture is going to turn out a little bit different. You can mix the colors together. I'm going to dip it in purple. Ooh, look at that. Now, before you start, if you don't want to get the table all messy, make sure you put some newspaper or something down so you don't get paint on the table. But it's okay if you do, because it's washable. I'm going to do some more yellow. Ooh, look at these feathers. Wow, I like this. This is fun. Are you guys having fun? I'm going to do some more purple. Purple is my favorite color. See, I'm just swirling it around. How else could we paint with our feather? Maybe we could dab it. Could we go like this, up and down? That makes a different kind of design, huh? I've never painted with a feather before, have you guys? This is pretty fun. How about some yellow? Now that we got paint on the feather, look how different it looks. 
And we see, we use our seeing sense to look at the feather and notice how it changed. Not, not as soft anymore, huh? Now it's wet, it's kind of stuck together. And you know what else we can touch? Maybe we want to use paint on our hands. Can you do a little finger paint? What's it feel like on your hand? Mine feels cold and kind of slimy. Huh. So look at this really cool painting. I think I'll do a little bit more. And if you guys want, you can get a new feather and you can start all over again, or you can make another page using your hands and you can touch the paint with your hands. So I think I'm finished. Now let's see what it looks like. Does mine look like this one? No, look how different they look. And that's okay, because it's our art project. They're supposed to be different. So I'm gonna see how different your feather paintings look too. So if you do these at home with your mommy and daddy, why don't you send me some pictures, okay? And I can post them on Dojo and we can show everyone our cool feather paintings. Okay, hope you guys had fun with art. I sure did. See you later.